welcome to Phyllis the Chef. So um, today I know you guys may have seen a little clip of my um, tuna casserole that I was working on as I was doing my broccoli casserole and chicken casserole. So anyway, I had already cooked the noodles here, so they are already pre-cooked for me. I have these cans I need to open of my tuna, and then I'm going to get some garlic salt or garlic powder, either one, and go ahead and chop up my onion and um, cheese and celery. Well, maybe not celery, actually, I don't think. Um, so my recipe is onion, garlic powder or garlic salt, um, cheese, sour cream, cream of mushroom soup, milk, and cheese and salt and pepper. Um, so that is my recipe for this and of course my tuna and my noodles. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. I don't have my camera stand with me at the moment so it's just gonna be pieces that I'm just gonna grab do and grab and do and then I'm just gonna sit and edit and make it all look smooth. <laughs> Even though it's not really smooth trying, while I'm trying to make it but um, I'll go ahead and show you guys the next clip in just a sec. Okay, so I'm gonna flip you around. So I have my tuna I just put in here. So it's I did three cans. I left the juice in here because I noticed the tuna tends to dry out a lot if you bake it in the oven. Um, and in fact, this recipe is 375 um, in the oven because basically you're just making sure everything's cooked and heated through. Um, and so let me grab my garlic powder and my cheese and I'm not sure if I have a cream of mushroom soup in the pantry or not, so I'm going to grab that, and I need three-fourths cup of milk. So let me grab those, and I shall be right back. All right, so I have my cream cheese in here. I'm about to mix up. I added my other, um, and here's the cream cheese I have. Oh, sorry, let me figure this out. Um, the organic cream cheese, I get it at Sprouts Grocery Store, so i got to put that back away here. Then I am not using this. That was for my other recipe. But I have this organics um, Parmesan, ah, ha, ha, sorry, um, Romano grated cheese. There we go. That I get at Trader Joe's. So that is what it's in here with my tuna. I already added a little bit of seasoning. But what my secret is, folks, and I'm sharing my secret, I put four pieces of bacon cut small and then, um, half an onion. I think the onion is called for there anyways. But I add, so here, let me see if I can do this all one-handed. Let me slide that. I gotta mix that up a little bit better. Just gonna use my hands just because I have the video camera and the other the bacon. I'm just gonna kind of separate a little bit as I put it in here the best that I can. That is a secret, guys. The All the recipes, none of them call for bacon with tuna. You guys may think I'm kind of strange, but my husband always loves it this way, and he doesn't even know it's bacon. He just says it's the best tuna he's ever had in his life. So I just keep it up, and I just never tell him what's in there. So he may watch this video later and realize what the secret is and why he loves it so much. All right, since all that had bacon and... All this stuff. Let me put the camera down because I gotta wash my hands. Okay, so I just added my cream cheese in here. So as you can tell, I'm gonna mix this all up here. So, I'm trying to see if I can get the cream cheese incorporated in everything. At least most of the way. Cut up the onion a little bit, or at least. All right, so now that this is all mixed, I'm going to add some salt and pepper to it. So let me reach over behind me. Here's my salt. Tuna's a little salty already with the cheese. And then pepper. Okay, doki. Mix all this. I'm going to go ahead and pour it in here and I will um, show you the clip in just a sec. 
I just added the cream of celery because they don't have cream of mushroom. And I almost forgot that. And then the milk. So I'm just going to add a splash of milk. It's supposed to be a little bit, whoa, not runny, but not like over the, over the top, I mean. So let me see. I just made a mess here on the counter. So, all right. Now that I added all of that, it goes in the trash. I'm going to go ahead and mix this now <laughs> that I got everything. Let's see here. Now they have a cream of mush, cream of celery actually. There we go. A little bit of milk. Otherwise, it will get dried out. That is for sure. There. That is what it's supposed to look like. And then doesn't look too appealing right but once I get in here mix it all around I'm gonna go ahead and add panko um, Japanese breadcrumbs to it where did I put that maybe I already put it away let's see nope what did I do with that? I just had it out oh it's on the other counter okay um actually no it's not it's right here so I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the top of it and then stick it in the oven Okay, everyone so I just took the tuna casserole out of the oven so that is what this looks like um, you still have the crust on top a little bit you can tell everything is cooked and ready to go so I will go ahead and end tonight's video back behind is to go ahead and look out for my broccoli and chicken casserole so that sums up this video for today I hope you enjoyed it and I will see y'all in my next videos and subscribe if you're new welcome to my channel if you are new and um, subscribe because it will let you guys know in your email um, every time I post a video it will give you an alert I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys later bye